What's going on everyone? My name is Corey Gray. Welcome to my channel. I am a missionary slash entrepreneur and I'm coming to you from the beautiful country of Nicaragua today. And so I imagine you want to create an online course and you're doing some research. And so I'm super glad you're here because this video is going to save you tons and tons of frustration, tons and tons of time. All right. And so we're going to be talking about two different platforms today. The first platform we're going to talk about is Teachable. The second platform, ClickFunnels, right? And so I'm gonna tell you a little bit about my story, my experience with both of these platforms, all right? So let's jump into my screen, and we're gonna be looking first at Teachable and their pricing plan. So we start out with the basic, and that is what I started out with. I did my research online, and I kept finding this name, Teachable. They talked about how these are the leaders in you know, the online course hosting. And so I went with it. I looked at this $39 per month. And I thought, well, that's pretty nice, but they have this 5% fee per transaction. Now the course I created was being released for $500. And so I did the math. And if I sold very many of these courses, I would be paying a whole lot of money with that tax. And so I decided to go with the professional. So I set everything up, spent a lot of time. Um, I was really excited to launch my course. So what I did kind of was a pre-launch. I did a discounted price and I, I was gonna let some people in for free also to get some reviews to you know, be able to show some social proof that hey, this course is powerful, it's really blessing people. And so I went with the 99. Now, when it came to opening up my school, the first thing that really frustrated me was that there was no link, no free link to give out to the people that you wanted to let in for free. And I'm telling you guys, when you create a course, there will be people who are your faithful followers or your mom or your dad or your, your wife or somebody that you're gonna want to give a free link to. And what happens is with this system, it is extremely difficult. It literally took me a whole day to figure out how to bring people into my school. And once I figured that out, I, I had to manually do it all, which wasn't fun. So we got the school going, everything seemed to be kind of rolling. I, I, I released the course, some people started buying the course. And then about two days later, I started getting messages in my inbox. Corey, I can't log in. Corey, I can't log in. Corey, this system isn't working for me. I can't log in. And I'm like, can't log in. And so I checked. I, I had to actually delete their names, put their names back on, then bring them into the course. It's like a five-step deal. And then I had to have them log in and reset things. And I was having to do this, guys, with tons of the people going through my school. It was not fun. It was not good for reviews. It was not a good experience. And then I, I sent a message out to their customer service and I was like, hey, what's going on? You know, they've been getting locked out. And then after that, about a day or two later, I got locked out and I couldn't even access my administrative panel. I couldn't access this right here. And so things were really difficult. I reached out to customer service and it took about a week for them to get back to me. And they told me, they said, well, it's because you're using a different computer than when you originally created your course that you can't log in. And the people that can't log in, it's because they're using a different computer than when they originally logged in. I was like, okay, so you guys can't fix that? I was like, that's gonna happen a lot. I was like, you know, I created my course on vacation or I did the recording in this hotel kind of set up with my laptop and then I got home into my office and you're telling me I can't use my office computer to work, which is where I work, right? And they're like, well, yeah, you know, maybe if we do this thing and that thing, I'm like, oh my gosh. And so at the same time, everyone's like, how do I take the course? How do I go through the course? I'm like, don't try to get into the course right now. So I had to push sales off. I couldn't bring people in because of all this frustration that Teachable was bringing. Stay tuned guys, I know this is a lot, but it needs to be said because there's lots of people out there going to this software and it costs way too much and it is full of glitches, full of errors. So what did I do? I took my course 
and I migrated it to Vimeo for a temporary holding spot for my videos because people paid for this thing, good money, and people were still wanting in and I couldn't just lose all those people. So I'm like, hey, go into Vimeo, you can watch it there. And if you guys know about Vimeo, Vimeo is not a place to host a course. I mean, they're kind of growing and getting a little better, but you don't want to host your whole course up on Vimeo. And so people start asking me, they're like, is this where you're gonna keep your course? Is this how you're gonna do things? And I was like, no, I'm gonna figure it out. And so I did some research and I found out that there's another place called ClickFunnels. And ClickFunnels, I was doing some research and it's like, you gotta build it and things like that. I'm like, man, it's gonna be difficult, but I don't wanna go with another one of these programs because there's so many glitches in the one that's supposed to be the best. And so I kind of got backed up to a wall. I'm like, all right, I'm gonna learn how to build one. And I went in with the mindset that this thing is gonna be extremely difficult, that how am I ever gonna build a course and organize all this? And I got into ClickFunnels, watched a couple videos, and I started messing around with it. And I discovered that building a course on ClickFunnels is extremely easy, extremely powerful, you have the ability to customize your sales page the way you want it. You can put upsells in there. I mean, this is my front page. It's a four sequence. It's four steps, right? So we have step number one, watch the video. And I tell about the video. Step number two would be the order confirmation. Your order is confirmed. Step number three, the login. <clears throat> step number four, the membership area where the course is located. And so in Teachable, you don't have access to customize very much. Um, I could not create the course and make it look like I wanted to. And in here, let's go ahead and I'll just show you what it kind of looks like, the editor. And these are templates, guys. You can get a template and you just drag and drop things, move things. You could delete it all, build your own. Um, and so there's tons of cool things you could do. Anyways, so School of Imagination, you can add boxes, you can add, you know, a headline if you want. You can, it's kind of, there it is. So you can add stuff, you can subtract stuff, you can customize however you want, guys, and it's super awesome. Let's go ahead and delete that and I'll show you through it real quick. So we have our video here, it's called The School of Imagination, guys, I'm also a minister and we do have a business and do different things. And so I wanted to create a school that helps people realize the power of imagination, which little short plug guys, imagination is key if you want to succeed. It's not all these external habits that all these successful people teach. You need to learn how to use your imagination. So I created this course to help people succeed in their imagination and in their lives. So I put a testimony in, real simple guys, testimony video, I received so much revelation, so much freedom. Join the school. Um, what you will learn, you can put your the things you'll learn, and then question and answer. How long will I have access to the course? Questions like that. And then, boom, right here. Fill out your information. Put in the email. Then that's the price. I actually have the course on discount, half price right now for people. And they put in their credit card. Now, this thing is what I really like that ClickFunnels allows us to do. It's a one-time offer. They also call it an order bump. So right before they add this to the cart, there is a question, would you also like a bonus consultation? And if they click that, they get a one-time offer where they get a video strategy with me. Now, if they click that, what happens is I have the course set up for a price and then I have that set up for a price and based on what the people purchase we put our products right here let me show you guys right, this stuff so simple I'll, I'll do just a quick kind of walk through some of it so I have my school fee 250 video phone call 50 okay so if I click this I can go in and edit and create an automated email so if someone clicks that and buys that they will get an automated email that says, hey, what time is best for you to meet with Corey for your one-on-one -on -one consultation? And they'll pick this time and then I'll get an automatic email. If they buy the school, they will get an automatic email with a link to their login page. So let me show you that. So they buy, they go to the order page, which is right here. 
and it says order completed. You're about to enter the school. Check your email. They check their email. They grab their link to the login page. All right. And I'll show you the login page and all this stuff's completely customizable. Like I said, um, I literally just erased everything off the template and created a template of my own. And so let's go ahead and take a peek. Just something really simple, but it works. Oh, that took us into the membership because I'm already logged in. But you guys can kind of see it right here. So I'll see you inside, put in, and they create a login. All right. And it's really cool because when a person purchases, their email goes in there. So that email has to match this right here. It's really cool, guys. <laughs> this is really good news. All right. So then let's check out the membership area where they go to and customize your colors. You can customize this and um, then you have your chapters. So I have five chapters. You just literally click one and then you got one, two, three, four, five, six different lessons. And when you click a lesson, it's really cool because check it out. It just changes and repopulates right here. And you can put in text, right? And you know, some people say, well, Teachable is better because you can put quizzes in. Okay, no, that's not, that doesn't make it better. You can create quizzes inside of Teachable. You can create your own quizzes and then put a link to it at the end of each chapter. So don't let that hold you up. And besides that, guys, I don't recommend putting a bunch of quizzes in your courses. People just want to get the information. If they're going to your course and paying for it, typically they're going to study it, write it down. You don't need to put a bunch of quizzes, in my opinion. But if you do want to put quizzes or, you know, after they finish everything, throw a quiz in there, you can do that. You just go into the editor and then you would put everything in. And so literally guys, you just upload chapters. What's this chapter? And then upload lessons inside of it. It's extremely easy. And so the other cool thing while we kind of wrap up is that with ClickFunnels, you have the ability to have that link that Teachable doesn't have that I was telling you about where you can give out a free link to people that you want to come in for free. Now, on top of that, with ClickFunnels, like I said, you can create quizzes, you can create landing pages, you can create websites, you can create opt-in forms, you can literally create 100 different pages inside of ClickFunnels, you can create 20 different funnels, all for $97. $97, and you could literally put tons of courses on here, you could put your business web page on here, you could create opt-in forms to gather emails, create quizzes, all kinds of cool stuff for $3 less than what Teachable is charging. Teachable is charging $99 for a broke down system that you cannot hardly even customize. So why would you go with Teachable when with ClickFunnels, yes, it can look like there's a learning curve, but it is way easier. And guys, I'm going to be doing more training and tutorial, but in my recommendation, I go with ClickFunnels. I recommend if you want to do courses, if you want to do business online in general, you go with ClickFunnels, guys. And so I, I greatly support ClickFunnels and I actually am an affiliate and I have a link below this to where you can get a two week free trial. And it doesn't cost you any more or anything like that to go through my link. Um, but if you do go through my link and you decide that you want ClickFunnels at a later date, what you can do is email me, say, Corey, I am going to get ClickFunnels. I see the power in this. If you send me an email, I'll put the email address below. I will give you a free course funnel. Okay. I can literally share and clone the funnel. I can share it over into your account. And I will also give you a super top secret funnel that I have that will radically grow your business. And so if you sign up, check it out, check out your two week free trial, but you're going to need click funnels if you want to do a course. And if so, email me and I'll send you a bunch of free stuff guys. And while I'm on here, if you guys want to go through the course, I'll put a link there too. Okay. This course is powerful. It'll help you to learn how to create your business, create your future and do lots of cool stuff.
All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this. Hopefully this saves you a bunch of frustration and headache that I had to go through. Hopefully this is a blessing to you. If it is, then subscribe, like, do the sharing, help this content to go out there and help more people. Thank you guys. Bye.